Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with my version of chicken cacciatore. That is chicken hunter style. It's an Italian dish. What kind of hunters hunt chickens, by the way? Come on, Italian hunters. How about something a little more challenging? So we're going to do this uh, chicken cacciatore, very simple dish. And what I like about this recipe, it's almost impossible for it not to taste good. So here we go. We're going to take a whole chicken and cut it up in quarters. You know how to do that. I showed you. We're going to take that chicken in a large, heavy Dutch oven with a lid and just a little bit of olive oil, just like a tablespoon or a half a tablespoon. We're going to brown that chicken really well. And why we don't need much oil? Because the fat from the chicken in the skin is going to come out, and we'll just use that to cook our vegetables. So you see that took about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. I got nice and brown on both sides. All right, while that is browning, I'm going to cut up one onion with the grain. And I'll explain that in the post. And I'm also going to cut up about, I don't know, seven or eight mushrooms. I'm just going to quarter those. After the chicken is browned nicely, I'm going to throw in my onions and mushrooms into the Dutch oven. This is on medium high heat. All right, I'm going to put a big pinch of salt and pepper in. Now what's going to happen? You noticed all that beautiful brown caramelization at the bottom of the pan. The liquid from the onions and the mushrooms is going to basically deglaze the pan. And it's going to get so tasty. The chicken you want to take out and you want to reserve in a bowl because that's going to catch all the juices. So after five or six minutes, the onions and mushrooms are soft. They're looking lovely. We're going to throw in six or seven cloves of garlic. Actually, I had like four or five there, but six or seven wouldn't hurt. I just crushed them. I didn't chop them, just with the flat of a knife, just give them a little crush. Throw those in, stir it around for a minute. I'm going to add rosemary, some hot pepper flakes some dry oregano, all right, a cup of homemade that I keep in a, you know, store-bought jar, tomato sauce, any kind will do, some water, another big pinch of salt and pepper. I'm going to put the chicken back in on top of this tomato-y, onion-y, mushroom-y mixture, pour in any accumulated juices. All right, I'm going to give a little uh, salt and pepper on the top of the chicken, and then the secret. I've sliced two red and two green pepper. I used the dark green pasilla peppers. You can use bell pepper. I just like the dark green pepper, a little more flavor. See, I don't want them underneath being crushed by the cooking chicken. I want them on the top, kind of steaming in the delicious juices and aromatic vapors. So we're going to cook this at 350 for an hour and 15 minutes. And then you see what we have here? The peppers are perfect. See, they're tender, but they're not all falling apart. And that's it. Let it sit for about 15 minutes and relax while you get your uh, side dishes ready. You can serve this on pasta like I have here. Polenta, unbelievable with this. You can do it on rice. Oh, so good on rice. Hey, I've even had it on mashed potato. And like I said, almost impossible not to taste good. Go to the site. All the ingredients are there. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.